Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thank you so much for joining Cassie and myself this morning to catch up on the Walkers. And bum, what's, bum, bum. what's going on at Walker Farm and what are we up to today? Guess what, Cassie? What? Today we're going to unveil somebody's secret talent. So, Cassie has a secret talent. A hidden talent and uh, I don't think it's kind of like a unicorn it's rarely used now yeah it, she has used it a lot in the past but most recently she has not but guess what she's gonna have to use it soon yeah um, apparently it's kind of like a bike you just pick it right back up yeah so if you want to find out what Cassie's secret talent is stick around just a minute or two and we're gonna uh, unveil the talent you're gonna unleash or unveil, unveil or reveal 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 Unveil. We're are gonna, you good at English? Are you? No, I'm not, that's not my strong point. So, <laughs> otherwise, we wanna we'll share that in just a minute. So, but first things first. We're Cass also wearing gray shirts of black riding. Cassie wants to point out that we're both wearing our uh, gray shirts. Uh, yours is Adler Farms. Our yep. our buddy Chad is doing a lot over on Adler Farms. He's got uh, his shed to house, tiny home. Well, I don't you know. wearing an Adler Farm I know. hat. <laughs> I was not ready to say that. Uh, he's got a lot going on over there. So if you guys haven't, go over and check out Chad at Adler Farms. They're doing great things over on his new property. We've been talking to him about um, All things. sorts of fun adult things. Yeah, things going on. Uh, our most recent conversation was about how when you move to Oklahoma, there is pretty much a line drawn in the imaginary sand. And you are on one side of the two lines, and Chad um, has realized this. You're either OU, the University of Oklahoma, the University of Oklahoma, or you're the other guys. Um, what's their? They're like they have like an orange colored cowboy. Yeah. I can't remember what their name something is. Something about pistols and pistols firing. Oklahoma State or something. Yeah, the state of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, I, it, Oklahoma. OSU, Oklahoma State yeah, University. That's what it is. Um, now, most of the people watching will probably say Ohio State University. Yeah, they is, just copied from y'all. Is the one and true OSU. I, you know, it's not my argument, but you should, you should probably go over to Stephanie over at Eddie Family Farm. She likes them. You can ask her about it. We're gonna get ourselves in trouble with our o, OSU. But fans. Chad said. In Missouri, it was like, you can be OU, OSU, Mizzou, like no one even cares. But here, he's realized like you are OU or you are OSU and you must pick or you must leave. And that's the way it should be. Like you should have to, you should, <laughs> you should pledge your allegiance to one side or the other. That way you, people know where you stand. Like, has, and I don't know if the chat has ever said, has he said whether he's OU or OSU yet? I think he just depends on where he goes, make friends, you know. Yeah, Chad's a friendly guy, so he's probably not wanting to make any enemies, especially. He he goes into a business, and then he sees, like, because the businesses either have OU stuff up or OSU stuff up. There's really no question. And then next time he goes, he puts on his OU cap or his OSU cap. They're in the car or in the truck. He just grabs which one is appropriate for that business, goes in there and mingles. Yeah, and uh, I told Chad, <laughs> since he's in kind of agriculture country, up, up in that area there's a lot of farms a lot of beef farms he's in osu country more or less you see you see a white three-quarter ton or one ton truck driving down the road with a feed box and or hay spears on the back i can 100 percent guarantee you that person is cheering for osu but you're explaining our community mm -hmm. so are we the are we that one well we're place? we're a little more like towards the big city of Tulsa. Yeah. And so on that, and, and we're also in the Cherokee Nation, yeah. CO, Tehiju. And with that, you get- um, If you're not an OU fan, you get your tribal card taken away. No, you get, it seems like, <laughs> it seems like oddly enough though, there are more OU fans um, that are Native American, but we opened up a tribal school and hospital. That's true. OSU, um, medical school on the tribe's uh, land. Like they opened up their own medical school. It so, just gets more and more confusing by the minute. So anyway, let us know down in the comments. Are you team OU, Boomer Center, or are you the other guys? And, or do you care? And if you don't care, then that's fine too because uh, whatever state you're from, a lot of people have an allegiance to their state, especially for college football, which will be coming up 
uh, in about what 60, 90 days. It's getting close. I don't know. It's 875 degrees outside. I can't think about football. It'll be here before you know it. So as far as catching up with the walkers, if you guys followed along, uh, we went over to the Celine Courthouse. I took the kids and we showed you guys our very own bison herd. Some of y'all said it don't count because it's not on our land. Well, it is on our land, kind of. And also, Chad should have made better rules. Yeah, we're, we're tribal members. It's <laughs> tribal land. And the buffalo belong to the tribe, and we're tribal members. Someone said we should donate money to feed, it, feed one, and then we can call it ours. You know, <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue with anything because there's a lot of people that said that we were right. Yeah, that's and I And I said... You guys just let, let settle it in the comments. Yeah. So I'm not going to say one way or the other, right or wrong. We think that we own some buffalo, and I haven't seen Chad claiming any. That's the difference, is Chad hasn't even claimed one. We've at least claimed one. Yeah. Also, they saw us train some puppies. Didn't quite go as planned. What happened, Cassie? Um... I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> the goat. Oh, yeah. The goat ran the puppy. That, like... We videoed that um, last week or so. I've slept since then and need more coffee, so I forgot. But yeah, the goat, like, boom, the dog. So, he's fine, though. Yeah, he, he is... It's part of him knowing, hey, I got boundaries. These are my friends. I take care of them. I don't get after them. Yeah. Uh, it was all an accident. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though, um, with Ransom and the puppies because he thinks that he's actually going to train them to walk anywhere he wants and do whatever they want. Uh, he thinks he's going to train him to set, and he said... You said and do whatever they want. Yes, no, they no, will yeah. do whatever they want, not what he wants. And he thinks he can train them to set, and also thinks he can train them to roll over. So those are the, like... He better get busy. Those are the, the goals that Ransom has set out. I don't know Reach if he's for the stars. achieved any yet, but he's getting there. Uh, also, um, as far as what's coming up with the walkers, what's coming up, Cassie? Lots of things. Um... Somebody, one of you guys had noticed that the black puppy had developed a little bit of a limp. We had been watching it and I recently took him to the vet. And so that update will be coming up on what's wrong, what we need to do, what we don't need to do or whatever. Um, and one reason I'm having to unveil my talent is because uh, the kids and I have a trip coming up. Kind of a trip. Yeah, I would say it's a trip. You're gonna be gone for four, four days. I think so. To church camp. Yes. So uh, Cassie kids and, camp. and the kids will be going to church camp and I'll be fending for myself, taking care of the animals here on the farm. So I'm um, not super excited about that, but at the same time, <laughs> freedom. Just joking. <laughs> so uh, uh, sponsors were texting back and forth and we're like, okay, we need to, we got to have this done. We're going to have theme nights. All the things. And um, I volunteered to take something and do something that I haven't done in a very long time. Um, so I've been I dusted it off, been practicing today, and Gary's like, you have got to show our viewers. And I'm like, I really don't want to. But it's for the people, and I it's, do what the people need. It's for you. So Cassie's hidden talent is playing her very own banjo no not a banjo <laughs> her own guitar so yes. cassie has played guitar for how many years now when did you uh, learn since i was 18. you learned when you were 18. Mm -hmm. so ever since the i've summer known her before i went to college she has played a guitar whenever um we needed guitar players at church sometimes cassie fills in whenever we helped volunteer with the youth group whenever cassie and i got out of college you also played then so Yes, I used to play in college quite a bit at the BCM, and uh, we would go to like, um, oh, what's the, uh, like weekend things with the church and play. What mm -hmm. am I trying to say? Uh, retreats. Yeah, church uh, retreats. So it was just, you know, if it was needed, I'd do it. I don't sing um, because God didn't give me that gift. I've tried. He said no. He didn't uh, give me that gift either. <laughs> and on the last Walker Farm Fan video, guess what I sung? Because our viewers are just real nice. Huh? It was America too. It was for America. Um, but anyway, since kids and all the things, I haven't played in a very long time. Our church has people who 
um, are there constantly and so I haven't had to fill in, plus I run the cameras. So anyway, it's been a while and I busted it out this morning and practiced and the tips of my fingers hurt. Well, you gotta build those calluses I do, up. I've got, I think, two or three weeks to get back in it so when I'm playing I'm not like, so if they want to sing along at home, they can look the lyrics up before you start playing. Do you want to tell them the name of the song you're going to play? I'm going to play Your Love is Extravagant. It's a praise and worship song and super easy and I like it. Yeah. It's and I think just acoustically or without words, I think it's pretty. Yeah. It's a very nice song. So without further ado, you ready to play for them? Not really. I, I shouldn't have wore gray sweating. Oh my, you'll be all right. Don't worry about it. They don't, they. This is not live. They love you. If I mess up, you'll edit it so, out, right? Yeah, I'll completely edit all okay. this out. It'll go straight from Cassie's hidden talent is wearing a red hat. <laughs> Ready? Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to move out of the picture because her guitar yeah, is not <laughs> going to have quite enough room for me. So, three, two, one. Cassie. So, although I don't typically cheer for the Cowboys. My favorite color is orange. So I found this orange guitar when I was in college and I had to have it. So, wish me luck. Your love is extra extravagant. It's got some beautiful lyrics, but also I don't want to play too much on YouTube get mad at me because I don't really know how that works. So hope you enjoyed. Good job, Cassie. Thank you. She didn't expect me to do that, but she did do a great job. She does an awesome job when she fills in at church and I know she's going to do a good job at camp, but she's got to keep building up those calluses <laughs> yeah. so she can play I even use, longer and longer. Um, which I should probably change them out because they haven't been played in a long time. But they're called elixirs and they have like a coating on them and it helps your finger. Uh, but you can kind of see where it's worn off from when I was playing. So I might actually get new ones, but they still sound fine. So I hate to just put new ones on there. Yeah, sounded good to me. You did a good job. We always tell our kids to use their talents. Uh, if they can sing, they need to, well, everybody should make a joyful noise unto yes. the Lord. Uh, we sing in the choir when we're, or not in the choir, but at church, when the church choir drowns us out, uh, I do. With the congregation. With the congregation. Yeah. Um, but, but Mazzy actually has a really good voice and so does Ranger. Um, so I have talked to them about me playing and them singing, doing a special at church, but that terrifies them. So... I need to continue to play and us do stuff at home to hopefully get them to step out of their comfort zone. They will sing with a group at school or at church or something, but just them singing makes them terrified. It's a little bit nerve wracking to get in front of a crowd <laughs> and, and do something like that. So Gary has a hidden talent. I thought we weren't going to talk about that. <laughs> you made me. Oh yeah. You guys, I can make my nostrils move. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, sure. Hang on. Are they moving? Do you need a sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not going to go there. So, thank you, Cassie, for, for sharing um, with all of our wonderful subscribers. I mean, I might get a record deal now. And his love, God's love, is extravagant, and it's yep. something to share and something to tell people about. So, thank you, Cassie. As far as pray, praying goes, so we always want to share um, any prayer requests that we may have here on Catching Up with the Walkers. Uh, do you have anything to call out today? Well, uh, continued prayer for Kevin, who attends our church and is um, our, in our community, and um, their family is very near and dear to her hearts. Um, pray for him and his cancer and to give the doctors wisdom and him strength, but also pray for the families who were affected at the July 4th celebration. Um, just praying for them and giving them comfort and those who are injured uh, healing. Yeah, just pray, prayers for our country in general. Just the, everything that, that continuously goes on. It's not just one event. It just seems like it's constantly. Yes. So continue to pray for our country um, and the healing that it needs. So thank you guys so much for following along here with the Walker family as we catch up with you guys a little bit. This is one of our favorite things to do. Uh, we hope you have a great day and God bless.
Love you guys.